very grateful to be here. Yeah. I've been aware of your teachings for some time now. <laughs> I'll, I'll sit like this. You happy? That? Just I lean am. back. <laughs> okay. Now sit up. <clears throat> Don't let us control you. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> you shouldn't. Make yourself happy. Okay. I feel good. I feel good. Okay. Okay. I've been aware of your teachings for some time now, and I've manifested a lot of wonderful things into my life. Yeah. I've recently been chasing a dream that I'm very passionate about, and in doing so... How does chasing a dream and being on the path of least resistance jive? Not too well. Sounds like the dream just keeps moving. <laughs> it really is. And I know I'm doing that to myself. I'm stuck in this wobble right now where I'm trying to balance what I know to be real in thought and what I'm struggling with believing. And I've recognized that a lot of irrational old beliefs about money doesn't matter how irrational they are if they're active they're still in your way and the only way that you can deactivate a belief is by activating another one so don't try to deal with irrational beliefs they just get bigger and that's what this is all about right so how do you close the gap how do you make headway toward what you are wanting by not needing to be there by enjoying the process in other words you said chasing a dream and we sort of made fun of that a bit but since you never get it done aren't you always moving in the direction of newfound desires and isn't that a good thing yes absolutely so what's the problem with it I'm hung up on resentment and envy of wealthy people and well resentment and envy you're not hung up on resentment and envy resentment and envy are just your emotional translations of you're shooting yourself in the foot so how do I make that brat inside me who won't stop throwing temper tantrums well do you like the feeling of resentment and envy no not at all so when you feel resentment and envy you have to think thoughts that cause it to soften or go away mm -hmm. you have to be aware of what is causing the discord and doing something else until you develop some patterns that don't cause it anymore right and I know that not every wealthy person is greedy and I know that I'm not entitled to what they've already manifested into their lives and there's enough for all of us to go around so how do I line myself Wait, with that? here's something that will help you so let's say that there are a hundred people in the world of course we're just using a simple analogy let's say there are a hundred people in the world and let's say that 10 of them are extremely wealthy and so there's this pie that they are sharing and 10 of them are getting a lot of the pie and the other 90 are not getting very much of the pie but the thing that you're not taking into consideration is that the 10 who are getting the big piece of the pie created the big piece of the pie if they had not created the big piece of the pie it wouldn't be there for them to get right you see the flawed premise is that somebody else put the pie there and then the greedy and not greedy rushed in and the greedy took more than their fair share and the not greedy just didn't get their fair share right. but that's not the way it happened right. nobody else put the pie there the greedy put the pie there your interpretation of the greedy right and so when you say there's enough for everybody that isn't even an accurate way of saying it it isn't that there's enough for everybody it's that everybody gets what they create so right. you've created a really really extraordinary vibrational pie but for that pie to become a reality some of them let it become a reality and some of them don't let it become a reality and the ones who really don't let it become a reality are those that are resenting those who let it become a reality you got to get this in context in other words right. I'm preventing myself from the pie I created by being mad at those who created a pie and let themselves get it 
<laughs> I'm not mad because they got my pie. I'm mad because they got their pie and I'm not letting myself get my pie. All right. All right. You're absolutely right. That's the vibrationally accurate way of saying that you see, right, right. and you really got that. So now you say, oh, the resentment that I feel is what I feel like when I prevent myself from getting my pie and it hasn't got anything to do with what anybody else is doing with anything it has nothing to do with anything except I've created something that I'm depriving myself of. Mm -hmm. And I feel it extra strong when I notice those who aren't depriving themselves of it. Oh, oh. Wasn't that clear and good? Yes. We think this is a really good time for pie.